I'd like, like to say a special thanks to you, Jane, in your capacity as executive director, uh, and also uh, to your entire hardworking team here at Skills for Change. Thanks for hosting us today. Very gracious of you. You know, the welcome that we've received here is exactly the kind of welcome that we want all newcomers to receive when they come to this country. Now, I'm here today to underline our government's commitment Prime Minister Stephen Harper's commitment to making sure that every newcomer to Canada not only feels welcome, but also has the chance to succeed here. And I know it's been said a million times, but it's still true, when newcomers succeed, we all succeed. And if anybody doubts that, just consider what Canada would be like today if this country hadn't welcomed over 15 million immigrants since Confederation. Just think about that for a second. Immigration is part of our DNA. You know, we often hear that natural resources or high technology or manufacturing <coughs> are the engines of economic growth. Now, the fact is that people are the true engine of growth. They're the foundation of our prosperity and our quality of life. And Canada needs people. We know the statistics. You know the statistics. We all see the shortages of skilled people qualified in many of the sectors of our economy, whether it's the construction industry, the skilled trades, or the health professions. We need more skilled people. And today, here's the big one, folks. I'm very pleased to announce the delivery of another $30 million towards that commitment, funds that will support the vital work of 16 community agencies here in the greater Toronto area. That's 16 agencies that are going to be helped. And for a lot of newcomers, of course, finding a job and building a career aren't their only concerns. Like so many of us, they may have aging parents or grandparents who depend on them for companionship and for support. These newcomers often have special needs. They may have particular difficulties with the new language. Maybe they can't get out on their own. They might feel alone. They might feel isolated, even from their own ethnocultural community. And these are feelings that can hurt families, that can damage relationships that are most important to us. Those are the family relationships. Family relationships that fuel and support everyone's determination to succeed. But the $30 million that I'm announcing today isn't just an investment in agencies and programs and services. It's an investment in people. People like Arthur McKaylee, who came to Canada from Iran in 2006. Arthur got involved with the Engineering Your Future program here at Skills for Change and picked up important information about Canada's labor market, job search techniques, workplace diversity, and a lot of other things. Today, he says that he owes his success to all these workshops, and he's since put his background in welding and mechanical engineering to very good use as a senior project manager with JNE Welding. Or people like Alberto Segura, an environmental engineer who arrived here from Colombia almost a year ago. Alberto was also involved in the EYF program. He learned all about researching companies and making those important connections. And just last year, he was hired as an engineer with Fleming and Associates. I understand that Alberto's here with us today. There you are, congratulations. And he's going to be sharing his personal experience with us shortly. You know, we need people like Arthur McKaylee and Alberta Segura, and we want them to succeed in this country. Our government, the government of Canada, is committing, committed to helping people do just that. And after 10 years of having settlement funding levels frozen, our government has substantially increased funding, investing more than $1.4 billion in new settlement funding over five years to help newcomers integrate not just better, but faster into Canadian life. So I want to thank each and every one of you here today. I want to thank you, those who are helping a newcomer get ready for a job interview, those who are simply making someone feel a little more welcome in this country. You're making a big difference in their lives. 
As Prime Minister Harper himself noted on the welcoming nature of Canadians, and I'll quote, East and West, North and South, French and English, immigrant and native born, we are all proud champions of these founding values of the Canadian way. Thank you so much. Yep. I would now like to invite Bahadur Madani, the chair of the YMCA Toronto Board of Directors, to come up and say a few words. Time, as I was waiting for my uh, the processing of my Canadian citizenship, a story that someone told me, and at the cost of taking 30 extra seconds, I think it's a, it's a story that uh, many of you will be able to relate to. And uh, this fellow goes before the citizenship judge to for the interview, as many of us uh, have already done that. And one of the standard questions obviously is, so tell me how many provinces are there in Canada? And this individual said, sir, Canada is a land of opportunity. He said, I know, but how many provinces? And he said, three. So the citizenship judge says, well, let me rephrase the question. How many provinces are there in Canada? And he says, this is a land of opportunity and there are three provinces. So the judge said, okay, after frustration, he said, all right, name them. And he said, Ontario, Lotario, and Winterio. <laughs> Now, I have not been so lucky to get the 649 or the Super 7 or whatever, but I keep trying. But it indeed is a land of opportunity, and with the continuous help from the government, it will continue to be even more so. Uh, and I immediately got involved uh, in the community, particularly with the United Way of Greater Toronto. I see a number of faces here that know me from those days. Uh, and one particular year, I was chairing the community initiatives funding, uh, and Skills for Change were a short-term grant recipient. At that interview that year, we admitted Skills for Change into full membership of the United Way. So I had a hand in that. <laughs> I can see that. Not only that, I was one of the speakers congratulating you when you moved into your new premises. And I'm also uh, very grateful and humbled to have also received an award from the Skills for Change. So you guys are doing a wonderful job, and I can personally attest to that. But tonight, today rather, I'm here on behalf of the YMCA of Greater Toronto, which I chair, because we connect with over 50,000 newcomers every year in our newcomer programs. They have arrived from all corners of the world, each in different circumstances, but with the same need, a knowledgeable and welcoming place to turn to for help in settling into their new homes. Through YMCA programs funded by Citizenship and Immigration Canada, we are able to provide settlement assistance in over 40 languages at YMCA newcomer centers and English language assessment centers. The YMCA provides a much needed source of support as youth and families adjust to a new language, new school system, and new culture. We wish to thank the government for their ongoing support of the Immigrant Settlement and Adaptation Program and your presence here and the announcement minister gives us renewed hope that we will continue to make this a uh, strong civil society. This funding enables agencies across Toronto to serve those who need it most. Newcomers are Canada's future and as the minister says to repeat your word, when they succeed, we all succeed. Thank you. I would now like to invite Marcy Ponty from the Working Women Community Centre to come up and say a few words. For my organization, Working Women um, Community Centre has um, taken great advantage of the allocation increases from the ISAP fund and by we have been able to establish a full service hub in, in partnership with Seneca College, York A campus in, in Jane Finch. Um, we've been able to expand our itinerant services which are within 12 organization partnerships with 12 organizations across the city, um, as well as increase our, our ongoing support services for our site at Don Mills and Shepherd, the Pena Town area. Um, we have four locations across the city of Toronto, um, and uh, we're very grateful for the additional funds to make that expansion work for us. We continue to be grateful, and we look forward to further increases in allocations of funding, <laughs> and I thank you for being here today.